Hello. Welcome to the channel. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our findings and comments about recent government activities related to Ehang. First, about recent government visit to Ehang. Recently, from May 25th to 29th, Jia Jiyuan, deputy head of Linzi district of Zibo City, led a team to visit Ehang and other technology enterprises in Guangzhou and Shenzhen to carry out investment promotion activities. Next, a bit about Linzi district. Linzi district is a district of the prefecture-level city of Zibo, in Shandong province. Linzi is one of the most highly developed industrial districts in North China with the highest GDP in Shandong province. The driving distance between Linzi district and Qingdao city is about two and a half hours. Back to the visit. This photo shows an Ehang officer, giving introduction to members of the visiting team in the exhibition hall of Ehang's headquarters. In the exhibition hall, here is the EH-216 on display. On this side, the wall is blank. But on the other sides, the walls may have posters containing introduction materials. This photo shows a meeting during a visit to one of the enterprises. Note, not sure if the enterprise in the photo is Ehang or not. It is learned that during the visits, Jia Jiyuan and his team got a detailed understanding of the development of enterprises in their respective fields, introduced the current development of Linzi district to the enterprises, and conducted in-depth exchanges on technology research and development, production line implementation and mass production. The visited enterprises including Ehang have stated that they will make effort to promote the implementation of the projects introduced by the government team, and send professionals to Linzi for on-the-spot inspections to follow up. The visit is good for Ehang. The communication and visit may lead to a business deal down the road. Next, about government procurements for Ehang EH-216 AAVs. Previously, we reported the first government procurement from Qintang District of Guegang City in Guangxi Province. Recently, it is learned that there is another government procurement for Ehang EH-216 AAVs. This time, the procurement is from Jishou City in Hunan. A while ago, we have reported that on March 31st, Jishou government held an online agreement signing ceremony for multiple contracts, one of which was with Ehang for low-altitude flight project. The contracted project is divided into two phases. The first phase of the project has an investment of 10 million yuan. It focuses on the cooperation of low-altitude flight projects in Aizhai tourist attractions, and introduces a professional operation and management model to create low-altitude flight products and organize low-altitude flights, travel festival, etc. Not long after the agreement signing on April 28, 2022, the procurement announcement or notice was posted on the web for public comments. Next, let's see the digest and summary of the procurement. Single source procurement announcement for the procurement of passenger intelligent aircraft in Aizhai Wonder Scenic Spot. Source, Jishou City Dihang Scenic Area Management Office. Release time, April 28, 2022. 1. Procurement Project Name. Procurement of passenger intelligent aircraft at Aizhai Wonder Scenic Spot in Jishou City. 2. Agency Number. 3. Description of the goods to be purchased. Goods Name. Passenger Intelligent Aircraft Technical Specifications Note, skipped as we may already know the features and specifications of the aircraft. Quantity, 5 units. Procurement Budget, Total, 11 million yuan. Note, this means each EH215 unit costs 2.2 million for this government contract. 4. Name and Address of Single Source Procurement Supplier Name, Ehang Intelligent Equipment, Guangzhou, Company, LTD. 5. Opinions of third-party professionals on the uniqueness demonstration of suppliers' patents and proprietary technologies. Note, the lengthy details here skipped. 6. Announcement period, from April 28, 2022 to May 7, 2022. It is noted that the procurement is for phase 1 of the project, and the corresponding purchase amount total of 11 million yuan is not that big. But a sale is a sale. The procurement, or any procurement in the matter, means a lot to Ehang at this stage. It represents an actual order, not pre-order, and may contribute to the Ehang's revenue more immediately than pre-orders. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.